Hey there, Pokemon fans, readers here with the first tournament fight video. I'm not sure if I'm going to name this uh, playlist a tournament fight or not, but whatever. I'm going to enter the tournament uh, in the theme deck category. Unfortunately, this will reward tokens, but it doesn't. Uh, it will reward uh, uh, tickets, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to join now with the Aurora Blast uh, deck. And I thought about that, I, since I am doing a deck review of a, a specific deck and then I'm doing a playtest video of, a of the same deck in the same week, why not do the um, tournament fight with the deck that I reviewed and playtested? So, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to hit the tournament with the deck that I... Uh, reviewed and play tested in this week, in the in the week, uh, in the week basically, and I am going to I, I'm going to give myself one chance to see if the deck if the deck can uh, hit three wins, two wins, or uh, zero or <laughs> or zero wins or one win or whatever. So if we lose now. The video is going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to remake the video. Uh, that doesn't mean that the deck is not good and that the deck cannot claim three wins. No. That doesn't mean that... No, that's not true. But, you know, sometimes you may get bad cards <laughs> or a bad starting hand. Maybe in that case, which I don't freaking know if I have... If I should start with Pidav or Articuno, I will start with Pidav. I will try to fetch, to find a water type energy, because if I don't, Articuno will be a very, very, very bad start. Um, I'm going to bench both, because they are both awesome cards. We are playing against a uh, the grass, the basic grass type deck. Oh, nice! Okay, I'm going to uh, fetch for one of these and one of that. What? What's his active? Mm, that's not so good. Uh, but still, I'm going to fetch those two. And I'm going to put my energy here. And now, next turn, I don't think that... I cannot clearly remember, but these grass type... Uh, grass type... Yeah. It, this gr basic grass type deck has no N. There has only um, this guy, the Colress, this girl actually, the Colress, which is why we should not bend so many Pokemon, and I will not bend unnecessary Pokemon. This Pidav is one unnecessary Pokemon. I would not bend Pidav at all if I had one water type energy in my hand. And that's basically why I really want to do. The um, I really want to do the uh, tournament fights series because I can go in depth in depth on my moves and why I do those. So now uh, I'm going to switch <laughs> tranquil. Seriously, I'm going to switch to uh, these Articuno. I'm going to put an energy card because I don't want to miss the energy drop. And I'm going to fetch three energy. At this point, I'm going to show to take a look at my deck to see if Salamence and um, Selgun is here. Selgun should be here. There is one Selgun, and let's see if the, the second Selgun is in my uh, 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 prize pile, and that's cool. Excuse my brain lags. It is uh, half past one o'clock in the midnight. And this tournament will probably last for at least one hour with the uh, delay that we have between rounds. So I will probably have brain lags. And uh, that's basically why you cannot see my face in the screen. Because it is so dark. I don't have a professional lighting kit. Uh, so I, uh, I disabled my web camera to make the quality 
of this video better and I'm very glad that he missed his coin flip we keep drawing energy and that's not good since we are fetching energy but uh, thank god I drew a fire type energy and that's good it would be bad if I drew a water type energy because I have plenty so I was saying that I am able to give you in depth um, you know uh, in-depth strategies and explain every single move why I do what I do and that may help you in your own games and that basically sort of um, you know negates the value of my playlist video but I think that you may just benefit from these videos because they are more in-depth and they are extra playlist now we have to cross fingers and hope that this poison thing, a uh, sleep poison actually ability will. Oh, awesome! That was a misplay in his. Um, that he should not do that. He should beg and he should actually uh, hope for getting the flip coin. Now he c basically he can do nothing. This silkun is lost, and we are. What? And we are up one price. We really, really hope for the cell gun. We really hope to get the cell gun from the prize prizes. Let's hope for that. That would be freaking awesome. We didn't. We have. We had one out of six chance to get our cell gun from the prizes. We didn't. If we get the cell gun from our prizes, next turn we can uh, evolve and oh shit! Sorry for the shit word, but. No, I didn't forget. Okay, I thought that I forgot. I thought that I forget to, uh, you know, uh, energy drop, but I didn't. Or did I? I don't know. But next turn, we're going to start uh, pumping energy to Silgun. And our goal now is to try to get to Salamence as fast as possible before... Um, you know, before Articuno is in trouble. So, Pokemon Fun Club, I'm going to use it to bring a second Articuno because Articuno is a very good Pokemon. And I'm going to bring my Victini, but I'm not going to bench it because Victini is not so good, even though we have advantage because they're grass type Pokemon in the opposite side of this. Um, player but I don't really need Victini right now I'm going to go for Articuno and not Bagon uh, because even if I get Bagon and then Salamence I can start dealing a lot of damage even with one energy and that's awesome I'm going to Freezing Wind again and hope for Selgon this time if I get my Selgon which I didn't uh, if I get my cell gun, when I get my cell gun, I'm going to Wally -E and start pumping energy to uh, Salamence as fast as possible. And that's how I'm going to treat the game. And we have a Bianca. So that's not, it's not going so good for him. Um, I need my, I need my um, Salamence as soon as possible and that's because Articuno cannot knock out um, the Servine not not Servine or oh, Superior Articuno cannot knock out Superior uh, which means that I'm going to uh, have be in trouble if I don't get my uh, my Selgon and Salamence fast that's why I that's why I prepare my second Articuno to be able to uh, deal with uh, those guys here. That was a very bad draw. Uh, the good thing is that we can knock out uh, Yan Mega right now, claim another uh, prize, which I really hope to be a cell gun. And my opponent, no, it's not a cell gun. My opponent has no way to knock out Articuno next turn. He cannot, uh, because even if he gets to uh, serve, uh, Superior, he still cannot knock me out. Which 
looks like it's not the case. He has no energy. That's very, very strange. Very strange indeed. A big threat, which is Yan Mega, uh, is out of the game. He cannot retreat. He cannot get this card back, which is awesome for me. And this game is probably won. It is one, <laughs> not 100%, but it is very close to a win. We still cannot get our cell gun. <laughs> That's very strange. But I'm going to start uh, pumping energy to my Bagon next turn. Oh no, looks like I'm going to fill my second Articuno because there is going to be a switch from the Yanma. Oh, that's an awesome energy. And will I draw my cell gun now even though it doesn't matter at all? No, my, still my cell gun is this prize card. <laughs> That's funny, but that's how it goes. So I'm I'm going to draw the cell gun now, but it is already too late. We won this game, uh, no matter what. I cannot see any way for him to get out of the, of this very bad situation. So he's probably going to either concede or let me hit his face and draw my cell gun out of this prize. This is the last prize, and. There is game one, one, because why not? And that's awesome. And we're going to go to game two very, very soon. Of course, I'm going to edit, so <laughs> there is no way to wait. <laughs> you will not wait, of course. But you've got the point. So I really hope that you are enjoying that. Uh, even though I sound tired, I really hope that you still enjoy that and I really hope that you're going to uh, hack this series because I freaking enjoy tournaments and I want to try my best to get my the, the full the fullest out of my skills to show you uh, how those awesome decks work on tournaments so there is Selgun right there you go Selgun the last prize uh, but still, Articuno did the job, and that's awesome. Let's see what we get. Five tokens. Awesome, why not? So, let's see if the other guys have finished with their... No, they haven't. So, that means that I'm going to pause the video here, wait for uh, those two guys to... Uh, some Someone to win, and very, very soon, actually instantly for you, <laughs> I'm going to face my... Tio Stio, <laughs> an awesome uh, name after uh, Peace Sage, which is the guy that we just won against. So, stay tuned. Actually, you're not going to go anywhere, right? Be right back. See ya. Welcome back, everyone. Actually, I guess that you didn't leave, and we have, we're have going to face this deck. Uh, that's a, a good tip. Uh, don't miss the opportunity to just pick, take a look at w what deck your opponent is running uh, because in that way you have a chance to decide uh, your uh, first active Pokemon um, okay so just don't miss those one or two seconds in which you can see your opponent's deck now I cross my fingers and hope for a free win because I'm freaking tired uh, that may happen. It happens a few times. People forget that I <laughs> that forget to get back to their computers when they are waiting for um, you know for other people to win or lose. And we may win, which is a, which is bad for my video, but that's reality. No, oh, we won, unfortunately, but. <laughs> I'm very glad about that. We won round two because of our opponent's inactivity and that's bad, I repeat. Oh, that's not so bad because boom, we're ready for the next turn and I'm not going to pause the video just for this one minute. I'm going to entertain you <laughs> with my tiredness. <laughs> so I, I thought about that Well, while I was waiting for the game to start, the, the second round to start. I thought about I thought about uh, what I'm doing right now, and I was I was feeling 
quite guilty because I'm trying my best to bring you the best content ever, to bring you a very uh, good character, actually to be happy and entertaining. And I'm not trying to be happy and entertaining. I am. I, I feel like I am. And I'm not acting entertaining. I, I am entertained while recording videos. But when I'm tired, it's very hard to do so. And I thought, dude, you are ruin, ruining your own efforts by doing this video right now. But I really, I think that you, um, wow, that you can understand the situation and that you are very, very awesome to not judge me about tiredness. So, I'm not familiar with this deck, even though I think that I own this deck. I think that I have it. I'm not familiar with that. I have no other choice about my starter. I really hope to draw a cell gun. Hey. Um, no, not the Bidav. I'm going to bench the Bidav, by the way. Taylo, come on! Okay. All right. My friends, this is going to be bad. I'm going to risk it. Your opponent inactive as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm going to try. Actually, I really hope next turn to get a, a Bagon. If we do, the whole thing shifts. If we don't, I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm going to try my best to draw a Selgun, even though I cannot... Uh, why? No, we didn't draw the Selgun. So, what I'm going to do, even though it is not the best choice, I'm going to throw those... I'm going to actually search for a Firo to start dealing damage. I'm going to go aggro here. Uh, and when you may search. And next turn he will probably get the evolution. Actually I guess that he's going to get the evolution. Oh no, we lost the aggro start and we may we may lose the game just because of that. So there is the Sylveon. I'm going to lose my energy now. And I'm probably going to lose this game. Just because of this potion. That potion may be enough for me to lose the game. That's one potion. Which is 2 now, and it is moving <laughs> so bad, it is so hard to win right now. The Fletching is probably gonna get that, okay. It's getting worse and worse every single time. We will probably get knocked out by uh, the Echoing echoed voice yes and as crazy as it may sound I will not gasp but I will uh, try to fetch to look the no that's not good I'm going to shuffle uh, this game is probably lost just because of those two potions that saved his ass, basically. Uh, let's go for the fledgling. Just to... I don't know. I don't know. The situation is... Uh, probably bad. <laughs> I really... <laughs> oh, that's good. I really have to draw... I have to draw the Salamence now or next turn but now would be an awesome an awesome time to draw the Salamence 
Now is the time. Solomons. No Solomons. Going to evolve the special energy. The dragon energy may save the game as well. But I'm in a very, very, very bad spot. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I'm going to go for my cell gun here. Uh, this Pidav is going to die no matter what. So next turn, if I draw an energy, we may save the game. Uh, very hard to do so, but we may do it. We will see. No way. We lost. That was it. Unfortunately, my friends. That was it. We lost. But that... that doesn't really ma say mean that the deck was not good. Uh, we had some very bad luck in the beginning. Maybe my decision to, I don't know, maybe my decision to uh, get for, go for the Firo plan was not so good. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments below. We finished second, which is quite cool, and we got we got two tickets, which is awesome. We refunded our uh, initial investment. If you, uh, if you, uh, if you saw from the spin wheel and all that great stuff, I got more than 49 tokens. So that means that I, I won enough to get my investment back, and I got two tickets as well in a very short period of time. That tournament lasted for less than half an hour, real time. I mean, real time, less than half an hour. But whatever. It actually lasted 20, 25 minutes, maybe, something like that. So, uh, I'm sorry for being tired in this video. I really hope that you still enjoyed it. And if, you're, if you watched it until the end, uh, make sure to check my Patreon campaign. Please support me there. I am not going to be able to bring you physical booster, uh, physical uh, Sundays, physical... Uh, cards in Sunday giveaway if we don't get money from the Patreon and I'm going to have to abandon the physical booster box opening series if we don't uh, go if we if we don't collect enough money in, uh, in Patreon so please if you have even at least one dollar uh, spare please go uh, Patreon I will have the link in the description below and pledge to save the Sunday giveaways and to help me maintain the channel because uh, YouTube revenue is al almost zero currently, and it will be almost zero for the for a couple for one or two years at least. So, anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you don't have this Aurora Blast deck, I guarantee this is probably the best deck. It, it, it is my personal favorite right now in the theme category. I, I really I highly recommend buying it. It is a very good investment. Even if you have zero decks, it is maybe the best deck to start. And uh, I don't know, go buy, playtest this deck a lot, be good at it, and hit the tournaments with that. Until next time, take good care of yourself, be safe, and I will see you uh, in another tournament fight video with more in-depth playtesting. Until next time, bye. Subscribe now and like and favorite and share and all that great stuff. And support me in Patreon. Click the links in the description. Bye.